What's up guys, Justin here. So I thought I'd take a second and give another update from Basecamp. I don't know if I'm gonna do these every day or what exactly that's gonna look like. I kind of figured uh, it, it'd be cool to kind of keep you guys up to date on some of the stuff that I'm seeing and everything else. Like I said, I'm still working on a video kind of showing you around the venue. Um, if I turn the camera around here, you can at least see that uh, from my balcony, I've got this nice view of the hotels. It's basically like a miniature golf course, so which is really cool. And uh, it's also, when the sun comes out, it is super hot in Palm Springs. But overall, it's been a lot of fun. So yesterday was my first presentation, and uh, I did an uh, a presentation called Extension Madness. I think I was actually able to get it recorded, which is great. Um, these, Apple, uh, these Apple headphones actually seem to pick up sound pretty good, so I was able to kind of run that in the background. So I was really excited about that because I didn't think I was going to be able to get anything out of that, and I think that I did. Um, Overall, that presentation, I think, went really well. Um, they actually put out a notification on the Basecamp app that apparently I covered over 30 extensions in an hour and a half. And um, I, I didn't really go through and count them. But uh, one thing I did want to say is if you're at Basecamp and you want to see more, I should be covering more than what I covered yesterday on Thursday. So uh, if you're interested in extensions, make sure you check that out. Um, I went to, I was only able to make it to one presentation because I was doing a lot of last minute prep, but I went to a photogrammetry presentation, I think it was by Josh Cohen from uh, Fat Pencil Studio, and uh, it, it was a good presentation. It seems like everyone's still trying to figure out, for, mo for those of you that don't know, photogrammetry is basically taking photos and uh, using them to create 3D models. It seems like that's kind of still a developing um, industry and a developing thing and it doesn't seem like everyone quite knows where to go with that yet. So um, I think there's an app called Canvas um, that works along with what's called a structure sensor for your iPad and you can actually use that to create uh, or use photogrammetry to like model a room and then you send it off to those guys and it comes back as a fully editable ready to go model so there's cool stuff happening but i don't think the technology is quite there yet um, i wasn't really able to make it to anything else because i was doing prep um, i also got to talk to joseph kim who joseph kim is a uh, youtuber up and coming he does a lot of stuff on sketchup as well as inscape i'll link to his channel down below that was a really cool conversation it's always nice to talk to another youtuber so um, overall it's been very cool oh and i got to go out to dinner with daniel tall and the uh, mindset studios guys so I hadn't met those guys before either super nice people they're the ones that bring you extensions like placemaker and profile builder which I've talked about on the channel so just getting to meet a ton of people and it's just been a lot of fun I'm really excited to see what goes on the rest of the week um, so leave a comment below let me know if there's anything that you want me to ask the SketchUp guys when I run into them I think there's gonna be some events where I'll get to talk to those guys or anything you'd like to see today um, I'm going to a couple presentations one on organic models from Aaron Dietzen, which should be great. And then I think Tyson from the SketchUp team is doing a quad modeling um, program as well. So we'll see if I pick anything up out of those. I'm not super good at quad modeling right now, so that's something that's really exciting as well. But um, as always, you know, first of all, thank you so much for taking the time to watch these videos. Um, if you don't like the update videos, they'll be done after a week or so, and we'll be back to just straight SketchUp tutorials. I did get a tutorial done this morning. So thank you so much for taking the time to watch this, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Thanks a lot.